All right, man. Uh, St. Augustine woman was shocked when she got her homeowner's insurance bill. Oh, shocked. Okay. What did you think? I said shocked. shocked. I was like, whoa. Oh, no, this, no, no. I'm checking the comments. That would have been the lead tease yeah. here for today. If somebody okay. shocked. shocked. My God. Now, she was shocked. She might as well have been shot. She might have ended up in the hospital over this. After she got her $36,000 homeowner's insurance bill. Who could pay that? I, what is this all about? Uh, Susan Gregory is her name. She's a resident in St. Augustine. She received a shockingly high bill for her homeowner's insurance renewal, they say, leaving her feeling bewildered. And burdened. And befuddled. And befuddled. I would throw that in there too, Susan. And bewitched. Oy. Bemused. Oh, bemused. Oh, very good. Bamboozled. Oh. Bamboozled is nice. a good one. Yeah. The double B. <laughs> From double D's to double B's. Uh, living in a historic home, Gregory was taken back when she received a renewal rate that was 12 times higher than what a local insurance agent deemed reasonable. Her bill amounted to nearly 36000 bucks, a staggering increase of over 300%. What is it, 12 times higher, 300% compared to the previous payment? They're going to have to call Chris Lucero if you ever send me a bill like this, I'm saying. Oh, because you're going to jail. Yeah. I thought you were going to tell him to call Christy Lawrence. I'm, well, I'm, well she's in comments. I'm waiting for her response yeah. here. I'm, I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my palms are sweaty. Yeah, she says, I thought this was my forever home. Yeah. I can't, it can't be my forever home if I can't afford it, she says. That's what a lot of us are looking at right yeah. now. She resides in the historic Abbott uh, Tract District of St. Augustine. Oh, I know it, yeah. Yeah. Her homeowner's insurance policy was transferred to a company called Slide after, uh, that just doesn't even sound like a reputable insurance company. I would never go with a company called Slide. <laughs> yes, true story. Well, it just sounds like they're going to slide your into rates the, up every the, single well, year. The, or into the, the insurance, insurance companies are so ridiculous with, like, even the roofs. Oh, we, well, we won't insure you because your roof's over 10 years old. Mm -hmm. All right. There's 40-year asphalt uh, guarantees on your on your roof. Mm -hmm. Asphalt, you know, shingles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So why spend that money? Now that your insurance company says, oh, it's over 10 years. Right. So they're actually weakening the house by doing this with their insurance request. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's really ridiculous on, mm -hmm. on what they're doing. Well, the roof comes into play here because her home, she says, is about 120 years old, mm -hmm. possesses, they say, the original roof. Oh, so it might have asbestos roof on it. Oh, that could be it. Oh, no. Yeah. So I mean, that could jack great the rates roof. up, right? That's a great roof. Just don't go up there and chew on the shingles. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's a great right, roof. Which is a common thing to do. Yeah, yeah. That's, roof and, that's how I test my shingles yeah. every I mean, as long as you're wearing months. your hard hat, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Jobs are <road> zombies. <laughs> <laughs> just chew on those shingles, folks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's probably, I mean, it's lasted 120 years through multiple hurricanes. Right. And now the insurance company's like, oh, you have to replace it. Right, right. And yeah. that's, that they say is part of the reason for that high bill. That's why we need people like Christy to yeah. Sure yeah. We need make, to, yeah. make sense of this. Mm -hmm. She will. Um, so, uh, let's see the homeowners. They say shouldn't panic if they encounter similar situations, but rather go explore alternative options uh, by requesting insurance agents to shop around, which we've got the best Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, Christy does that for me almost automatically. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, boy, that would be shocking. That would, uh, yeah. So, what do you do in that scenario? Do you? Yeah. What do you do in that scenario? Uh, call Fidus Roofing, I guess. Get a new roof. Well, I mean, it, you know, the bad part is, is what it, what this creates, and this is, uh, it sounds like an, uh, a person who's uh, close to my age or older, um, and they probably have this house pretty close to being paid off. Sure. And they're, now their biggest expense is their insurance, right? And then they have to make a decision: Do I even get insurance? Right, right. Because right. it's the bank that requires you to have insurance. Will they take your home if you don't have insurance? No, no. It's the bank who does. I mean, the bank, the bank requires you to have insurance. Right. The bank will, the mortgage company will buy the insurance for you. Mm. Okay. Uh, and I've had that happen where they've attempted to do that and they didn't recognize the other insurance, and I, I had to have, a, mm. I had to have a, a battle royal between my insurance companies. Mm. But that my fun. escrow. Is completely blown out of the water because of insurance. Okay. Every yeah. every every year the escrow gets messed up. You guys have mortgages now. You yeah, 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 yeah. Every year your escrow, escrow gets escrow. messed up because of your insurance. Yeah. Yeah. There there have been some adjustments in my escrow this year. Yep. Yeah. 
sorry ass insurance um so yeah yeah that sucks man but uh i gotta tell you call christy call christy yeah. Call Figure fight us in. if you need to, yeah. and then you know, last resort if you get so mad that you end up in jail. You know, we got Chris Lucero Chris for you. Lucero, yeah. We've got this woman covered. Mm -hmm. and, luckily, and the other other thing you have to watch out for, and this is why you need a company like Fidus, um, is if you take a claim to replace your roof, uh -huh. uh, you can't get insured because you've taken a claim within five years. There's like criteria is with that oh too. wow i didn't know so that. you can't like oh well you've taken a claim within five years now this other company won't insure you so there's some criteria like what that if a storm too. hit and you completely lose your wow y'all yeah. wow. that's not so nice. i mean they, that's why you got to talk to people you trust like Fidus, like Christie. I mean, these these things can really, really screw you up. There's these guys walking around, uh, knocking on your door, like, "Hey, I can get you a free roof," which Ooh. is true. Mm -hmm. But then, when you really need your insurance to come through, nope, you had a claim. How Ooh. terrible! Jeez. Ooh. Okay. There should. Mm. So people should really be calling you, Troy, so you can explain this whole situation. No, no I've just been angry about it for a while. <laughs> right you guys just yeah. gave me a reason yeah. to yeah. let it out. Yeah, man. God, that sucks. We yeah. hope she figures so, that out. Yeah, be with somebody you trust when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure.